Good afternoon, friends and kids and whoever's watching this. It's your favorite lawnmower blade sharpener, old Cappy here. And uh, I worked a double last night, so <clears throat> um, I've only got like four hours of sleep, but that's you know, it's a perfect time to try one of these, right? This is uh, the other flavor of the Coca-Cola coffee. Coca-Cola with coffee, I'm sorry. It's not Coca-Cola coffee. It's Coca-Cola with coffee it's both the things and this one is the vanilla flavor um i tried the bold roast or whatever it was called dark roast something roast it was just you know regular coffee this one should have a little bit of flavor to it so maybe it's gonna taste nicer i don't know i mean it wasn't exactly bad it was just weird so this one i i wonder if it makes it taste a little you know like something I would actually want to keep buying rather than, you know, a fad drink that's going to die out in a, a month or something like that. Anyway, same thing. Pretty much coffee can is the same. I think the letters are a bit different. I think the um, other one was dark, just nicer. I like this one better because I can read it. And, you know, it says vanilla at the top and it could be like a latte. I wonder if there's milk in this one finally because the other one didn't have milk. Sip and scan, you know the deal. Let's see, let's look at the nutrition facts. This is still pretty annoying, though. The uh, silver text, they should have just kept it at brown text or whatever. Or white, but they made it silver. That's really annoying. Um, one can uh, serving 70 calories, 0 grams total fat, 40 milligrams of sodium, 18 grams total carbs, 18 total sugar, that is also 18 added sugar, and 0 grams of protein. Boring stuff, really. This I think this is slightly better for you than actual Coca-Cola. I don't know. I'd have to look at one to be uh, sure. And ingredients, carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, caramel color, coffee powder, Phosphoric acid, natural flavors, caffeine, sodium benzoate, and potassium benzoate, sucralose, and acylfame potassium. There is not even vanilla extract or anything in this. Where is the vanilla flavor coming? The natural flavors? Phosphoric acid, natural flavors? Man, they really are bare bones on this. <laughs> they literally just threw coffee powder in Coca-Cola and said, eh. We'll, we'll let we'll let science do the thing. At least it's natural flavor, so I'm I'm probably eating fish paste instead of you know petroleum. Um, let's do it. I got my little Coke can glass here again. I have two of these, but I washed this one. But don't worry, guys. I'm not using the same glass over and over again. Oh, let me go wash the top of this can off real quick. Cats hear me in the kitchen, so they think it's food time. Same color as before. Coca-Cola color. Boring old Coke color, but you didn't really expect it to be anything else, did you? Pour this in. Let's have a smell. It smells like Coca-Cola. And maybe a little dash of coffee, like really underneath it all. It doesn't have a vanilla scent. So, to the naked eye and nose, I guess, <laughs> this is the same thing as the other one. Let me see if I can detect any vanilla at all. Like if I try really hard. Nah, not really. It's it's If there is, it's super subtle or it's being like, masked by the coffee smell or whatever let's have a sip bottoms up mm. interesting i think the vanilla definitely helps this become more of a mainstream kind of thing that you might want to try because the, 
you know, just the coffee with the Coca-Cola flavor, it's like two weird entities. Like you drink some Coca-Cola after you had a cup of coffee in the same mug. But the vanilla flavor, which there is, you can taste it, you can taste it a little bit, that sweetness of vanilla. You know, that sweet kind of um, almost alcoholic kind of taste, you know, like a vanilla extract. Um, it kind of transitions those two separate entities into something, you know, more one-laned. So, yeah, the first sip I get, you know, it's kind of, I thought it was like, mm, that's a weak little vanilla taste at first. Is this all this is going to be? But it starts to, you know, materialize more as the flavor continues. Uh, Coke first, then coffee. And the vanilla, thankfully, lingers pretty much the whole time. So you're almost having like a vanilla Coke and a vanilla latte. So that's, you know, that's neat. That's neat. So yeah, if you're going to try the Coke with coffee, I would say try the vanilla one because it's a better experience. Let's have another sip. Yeah, it's like drinking a vanilla Coke um, with a coffee, vanilla cream or maybe coffee kind of thing. Not so much a latte. We're not going that far because lattes are more creamy in taste. Um, yeah, you know, that's this 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 would be the choice if you're going to try the Coca-Cola with coffee. Go for the vanilla one because it has more flavor. Um, out of... The two, this one definitely, and which one is better? Uh, This would score a, um, uh, it wouldn't score like super high still. I don't, I still wouldn't want to buy this really if that was my energy choice or any energy drink of choice. I'll give it a, um, I'll give it a four doors instead of two doors in your car out of red because of convenience that's that's my take 